So that's the reason I'm entering this competition to win the four free tickets to the game from Tom Fletcher. P.S. I hope you think my letter is the best. I'm running late, but I said I would post my brother's competition entry. Phew, just in time for the afternoon collection. I really hope Tom wins. Did you know that Australia Post handles around 20 million articles of mail every working day? That's about one letter for every Australian, every day. All these letters and parcels get picked up by all these trucks and vans you see on the road. They deliver them to the nearest mail centre and there are dozens of them across Australia. They make sure all the mail is sorted and sent to the right place. I love doing work experience at Australia Post. Come on, I'll show you around. They've got the most amazing machines here, each with their own special job. This is where the mail comes when it first arrives. Letters that are too thick have to be put aside to be hand sorted as they will not go through the machines. So, if you're posting photos or sending bottle caps for competitions, you should use a padded bag. These letters are going into a machine that turns all the letters up the right way and cancels the postage stamp. It's awesome! There you go, and getting all the big mail? Yeah, it's going good. Looks like you're doing a good job, keep it up. Thanks. The mail now gets fed into another machine, just as smart. It's called a letter sorting machine, and these machines have eyes. I'm not kidding, these machines have an electronic eye, you know, like the speed cameras. But this one is even faster and smarter. The electronic eye scans the address and with the help of a very smart computer, prints a special barcode which contains all sorts of information about where each letter is going. Did you know that this machine can read over 35,000 letters every hour? And if you and I sorted them by hand, it would take us more than three days. I think the machine wins. There is also a fantastic machine here that looks like a roller coaster called a tray management system that moves the mail around the centre. Now we're off to the barcode sorter. This machine reads the barcode and sorts the letters down to the posties round. In some areas, as much as 86% of the mail is sorted by this barcode sorter down to the posties round. Let's see where this mail is off to. Hobart, Mackay, Perth, Ballarat. Can you imagine so much work behind sending one little letter? And if you think that's quick, what about Express Post? You would have seen that big gold post box. That's Express Post, the fastest way to send a letter or parcel. If posted on any business day, Express Post delivers to many places in Australia by the next business day, which is why they rush through the system. I'm pretty sure my auntie uses Express Post for her business. Envelopes come in all shapes and sizes, and I guess that's important when you think about the different things that are sent through the mail. There are special machines that take care of larger envelopes. This machine is about 70 metres long. There is always work to be done. Look, more mail has arrived. Some people, though, don't pay enough attention when addressing their letters. Here is a letter addressed to a place in Richmond, but in what state? There are six different Richmonds in Australia. The machine got very confused. It is important to write the suburb and state in capital letters. Write clearly and put the postcode in the little orange squares. And don't forget to put your name and address on the back of an envelope. If the address is incomplete or the machine can't read the writing, the address comes up as a computer image in the video coding room. Someone quickly types in the right information in less than 90 seconds and the machine can then read the address. I wish I could type that fast. A 
Australia Post handles on average over 400,000 parcels every working day, delivering internet orders, business parcels and gifts, my favourite. They tell me that most people are pretty good at wrapping their parcels, which is very wise when you think of all those parcels sent by post. That's why you should always pack a parcel really carefully and make sure that any sharp edges are covered up and everything is padded, even if it's in a box and secure with tape. Have you ever been into one of these shops? They're awesome! There's so much else you can do in here. You can pay your bills. How are you? Good, thanks. I'd like to make a deposit. Do your banking. And buy lots of cool stuff. So, back at the mail sorting centre, as soon as everything has been sorted, it's ready to hit the road. Every night the delivery vans and trucks pick the sorted mail and take it to the delivery centres across the country. And Australia Post makes sure it gets there the fastest way possible. By air and by road or rail. The mail is then delivered to hundreds of delivery centres and post offices across the country. The mail arrives throughout the night and sorting staff work until early morning getting the mail ready for when the posties arrive at 6am to do the final sort into their own special rounds. And to think, when I was little, I used to imagine our postie riding all the way from our home in the country to get my letter here. Every morning, around 10,000 posties jump on their bikes or grab their trolleys and take to the streets. Or the hills, or the bush. And as they say here, Australia Post delivers from anywhere to everywhere. Well, I'll finish for the day. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Hmm, I wonder how Tom's competition entry is going.